Happy Tuesday, July 18th, uh, oil traders. And as we can see from the chart at the far right of your screen, it is not going to be a boring day any longer. <laughs> um, not much happened yesterday. It was a slow fade back down to uh, roughly 46. And this morning, um, Europe decided to take us back to 47. Uh, we've touched as high as, what is this, uh, 46.92. Um, or 4691 and uh, we've since dropped, pulled back just a little bit um, but uh, I would say that it's probably a good chance that we're going to be testing 47 today um, as you know I've got long positions starting from 47 and I'll be looking to get out of those exit those uh, at or above 48 uh, I'll also be looking to add to my short positions about 47 uh, so for the time being, you know, where we are right now, 46 and 3 quarters, it's really just wait and see. Uh, I'll be looking towards Europe's close at 11.30 a.m. Eastern before making any decisions. Uh, but if we're above 47, I'll be at least adding to my short positions, uh, but looking to sell at least one long position towards closer to 48. Uh, 47 is uh, break even on one of the short, uh, one of the long positions. Um, so I'm not looking at breaking even. Uh, if uh, if we don't go above 47 towards 48, then I'll just hang on to those long positions <clears throat> as I have been. Uh, you can check those down on my tradingjournal.ca account here. Uh, but you can see that those go back almost three months now in uh, in some cases, or what a month and a half in another case. So it's definitely been a long wait uh, for those positions, um, but uh, this could be our our bounce up towards um, you know upper 40s. Uh, and if that's the case, I'll be looking to exit those positions at at least break even, if not in profitability. Uh, the entire long position in my portfolio is break even, just below 49. I think it's 48.80 or so. Um, but I doubt that I'll be holding on to the entire position uh, in anticipation of 49 simply because I think that we're going to go down before we go up. Um, 47, maybe 48, I can see that, but 49, 50, I, I struggle to see that. Um, I think it's more likely than uh, that we see 45 or 44 um, in the second half of this week than it is that we see 48 or 49. Not that I would mind. <laughs> I've been hanging on to those long positions for quite some time, so I would welcome the opportunity to exit. Um, hopefully at a profit, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, today is Tuesday, so we're going to have API news at 4.30 p.m. Eastern, so that's after North American East Coast uh, trading concludes. Um, and we're probably going to see quite a bit of movement um, in anticipation and uh, afterwards, of course. But just keep in mind that it's not really confirmed until we get the AP, um, EIA inventory news on Wednesday, tomorrow, at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. And regardless of what API does today, um, late this afternoon, EIA may or may not follow suit. Um, so play accordingly and protect yourselves and don't pet don't bet too heavily in any particular direction um, As we can see as I'm wrapping up my, uh, my chat here We're pulling back, you know relatively hard um, From those highs so you know, it wouldn't surprise me at all if we drop back down to the mid 46s uh, before <clears throat> East Coast trading uh, begins today, but uh, yeah, it's really just wait and see for now um, nothing to do until the market tells us what to do. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are doing, um, how you're playing this, and uh, how, you're, how you see the week ahead. Uh, hit me up down below on YouTube in the comments or on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. And I'll touch base with you guys towards the end of trading at 4 p.m. Eastern. Good luck. Cheers.